today's video, I'm gonna talk about the chart patterns and setups you should be looking for in 2019. These patterns repeat, repeat, repeat. I'm gonna tell you how to spot them first. Hey everyone, lead trainer with Stocks of Trade, Tim Bowen here. Um, we talk about it a lot, it gets mentioned a lot, but one of the great things about trading these low price stocks is the patterns quite frequently repeat. You, uh, If you've done your research and you've started learning about stocks, you're gonna hear, look for the pattern, look for the pattern, recognize the pattern, and it's true. One of the biggest things of why we look for these $1, $3 stocks is they have have repeating chart patterns and it takes time you need to look at the look for them screen for them but after a while it start getting burned into your brain I call it looking at charts till your eyes bleed it doesn't sound fun you know trading is hard 90% of fail but if you're willing to put in that work to dial all these in and look at these charts then you're that much further ahead of the other guy remember while the market isn't truly a zero-sum game, I like to refer to it, many day traders like to refer to it as a zero-sum game. I can't make money unless someone else loses money. If I'm buying, somebody's selling. If I'm selling, somebody's buying. So the goal is to be better, faster, stronger, smarter than the other guy. And by studying, studying chart patterns and recognizing these, you can be there first. So the first pattern I want you to look for in 2019 is that 52 week high break on volume. So. What that is, is a chart that has been steadily uptrending for quite, you know, for days and weeks. Now, the, the, the next component we're looking for is a, is a gradually uptrending chart and then a high volume breakout to 52 week highs, ideally with news. What that has done is that has shown us that there is interest in this stock. That's why it's been steadily uptrending. You know, we don't typically look for long-term downtrending charts. That is trying to pick a bottom in a stock to me is like buying a lottery ticket. If you're trying to pick a bottom in a stock, you're probably better off buying a lottery ticket. But if this stock has been generally or, or slowly uptrending for days and weeks, that tells me that there's interest in it, that there's buying every day, that no, you know, there's fewer sellers than there are buyers. The only people that are selling are probably people that are taking short-term profits. Then I see that big volume candle on, on my charts. That tells me that coupled with news, there are a bunch of traders that are now looking to push this stock to all time highs. So that pattern is gradually uptrending for days and weeks, and then a high volume, a unusual volume breakout to 52 week highs with news. That news could be earnings, could be a contract win, could be a hot sector, et cetera. So the next pattern I want you to look for is a little bit more technical. Um, hopefully this won't go over your head, but uh, we've got a lot of videos on our YouTube channel. We talk about these in the daily reviews. Um, so if this gets a little technical, be sure to go through the archives. We talk about this setup. I do in our weekly reviews a lot, as well as on the Steady Trade podcast. But this setup is the VWAP hold high of day break. Um, VWAP is, without getting too technical, is volume weighted average price. This is our favorite indicator. This is really, as a new trader, probably the only technical indicator you should have on your chart, but it is a relation to the volume and the price. This shows us a stock that has a lot of buyers and has a rapidly appreciating price. The next component of that is, this stock is a big gainer on the day, which means it gapped up in the morning, and, and I mean, could be 20, 50, 100% on the day. It's gapped up early in the morning. It is now consolidated through the day at VWAP. So it has held that technical indicator through the day and then into that late day window, which when we talk about time of day, it's that 2 p.m. and later window, 2 p.m. Eastern. Stock market in the U.S. closes 4 p.m. Eastern. You've always got that busy time early in the day and you've got that busy time late in the day. So as this stock is held above VWAP, spikes into the late day, 
That is one of the most consistent, repeatable day trading patterns. Because once it breaks that high of the day, that brings in all the momentum, brings in all the, the big buyers, and you see these quick moves to the upside. And then, remember, no trade plan is complete without a stop. This is one of the highest percentage repeating patterns in 2019, but it doesn't mean it works every time. None of these patterns work 100%. If they did, I'd be doing this video from my you know, uh, elaborate lair on the top of, of, of Mount Everest. But you know, they don't all work. You have to have a stop loss. The great thing about a VWAP hold high day break is if it fades back to VWAP, you have a clearly defined stop, which tells you the momentum is faded, I stop out here, I come back the next day. Remember, trading is about small losses and maximizing your gains. These two setups give you that ability. Look for those 52-week breaks on volume with news in 2019, and look for those late-day VWAP hold high-a-day breaks as well. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to comment below with any trading-related question. We love answering your questions. Also, like and share with your friends, and be sure to subscribe to be notified as soon as our next video hits. And if you're looking to expand your trading knowledge, don't forget to check out all of our other videos. And be sure to click the trial below. Check out Stocks to Trade. I think it is one of the best, most rapidly advancing softwares out there. Be sure to check out our trial.